Who's starting? This is your channel, right, Rusty? No, no, oh. no. Definitely not. I'm kind of a... I'm, not, I'm no longer a seasoned veteran like you, Zach. What do you mean? Oh, YouTube. <laughs> you you <Yeah>. left the <laughs> YouTube, YouTube game. Yeah. Now you're, in the dust. now you're the podcast veteran, though, of the group. It's true. He's been doing it way longer than us. Well, more consistently than us, I guess I should say. Yep. Be better, more consistently, with more success. Great no. audio quality. Well, the audio <laughs> quality is amazing. Let me tell you, we've gone back and listened to some of our old stuff. The audio quality is horrendous in those older episodes. Like the Tales of Vesperia Roundtable. Oh, geez. Yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't listen to the whole thing. It was pretty bad. <laughs> well, we were talking for like two hours about nothing that, relating to Tales of Vesperia. So, which I, which I didn't remember, by the way. I thought we just did like only Tales of Asperia. Yeah, yeah but... we skipped in like an hour and a half into the video, and we were like just starting the the round table. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it was it was pretty rough. But wow. it was like, I mean, it's a product of its time. Yeah. No, yeah. We'll, no, back, we'll do the definitive edition. We had way edition. more time somehow. Oh gosh. Yeah. When we do the definitive edition, we'll have better quality to match the definitive. It'll be the definitive round table. That's right. Hey Zach, how's it going? All right. How about you? No, oh, we have a guest. Uh -huh. We should probably introduce him. Oh, oh, oh Rusty. Who's this, who's this mysterious? You person? might know him as Ari Lewis twenty eleven. Uh, he regularly uploads on YouTube every <laughs> week. Every week. No, every no. day. <laughs> every day, daily uploads. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also, host of an, a podcast called Otaku Brothers. That's right. That's right. Hello, with, gentlemen. With it is who, an honor and a privilege. Who do you, wait? Who do you host that with? That was your your sister, right? <laughs> no, my brother-in-law, actually, oh. Ryan. Yes, the bearded gentleman that he is. <laughs> okay. Okay. We started the podcast about a year ago. This last month, actually. So. And you're uh, you just posted episode, uh, how many? Forty-six. Yes, we just talked about our predictions for E3. We did some back of the box trivia. One of our uh, listeners wrote in with ten, or was it nine? I think nine back of the box trivia that Ryan and I kind of did a showdown for. So, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. We have a lot of fun recording. Uh, I actually tried to make kind of a semi return to YouTube about a year and a half, two years ago, is when I first got married. And then I realized that the gaming community is kind of dead unless you're <laughs> Johnny Millennium or Metal Jesus Rocks or one of the prominent, more prominent YouTubers. And so. Uh, the natural shift was the podcasting space because I still want to have a voice in this great community of ours. And, uh, yeah, I've had a lot of fun doing it. Of course, the audio quality, if you go back and listen to the first five episodes, is garbage. But we've since got recording <laughs> software that works, <laughs> and uh, we got it all figured out. So we have I mean, a good time. You got better standards. I, I remember when you, you said that when I started listening, and I was like, oh, this is bad audio quality? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> Honestly, know. I remember thinking the same thing, too. Yeah. Okay. So, like, then that means literally, hey, none of hey, listen is even. You can't listen <laughs> to any of it. No, it's a hey, don't listen. More like. <laughs> no. Also, no, you, a great time. <laughs> you're definitely on pace to pass us. We we got up to like episode fifty two or something. Yeah. So, have fun. With well, that. actually, once we hit fifty, we're actually never going to record ever again. So. <laughs> <laughs> just do 50 episodes and that's it that's we're hanging up the, the, the cleats after that's that that's good yeah, you gotta so quit while you're ahead like, it, yep that's it otherwise that's you it. end on episode 200 when you have like no one left and <laughs> it's depressing oh, yeah. oh gee oh, oh don't make it sad <laughs> not that you're referencing any specific podcasts yeah. no I actually wasn't but that works too yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> well so what are we even talking about here what are we talking about uh, we something are talking called the gents challenge that's right. Yes. Which I, right. I cannot. I wish I could take credit for the concept of that idea, but it was not. That was Anzi way back in the day. Uh, but now I've been hosting them on the Discord. This is the, I believe, the fifth Gents Challenge on the RNG Discord. And. Formerly Pete's Game Room Forum. Formerly. So. Yeah, PGR. Pete Dorr, Peace. The gentleman, the scholar, the. I love the in. The wizard, though he is a wizard. Yeah. The speedrunner now. Be sure yeah. to go to uh, tapatalk.com slash groups slash Pete's Game Room. For oh, all no. your Pete's Game Room forum needs. I feel like this yeah, actually the... is a better like server for the forum. It looks, actually looks nicer than it did before, but we just never utilized it. Right, but the thing is, it's like they, they took so long to do anything to up, update mm -hmm. stuff, and it's just like, I don't know. 
Yeah, and we lost PG, oh. we lost PGRForum.com because I guess uh, Pete probably stopped paying for it. <laughs> I think I think he that was, was paying. Yeah, back. This is like that's like five years ago or something now though. But it was like I think it was like 2017, 2018 or something. He came back and he was like, "Yo, yeah, what what URL did you want?" And PGRForum.com we had, and then we had it for like a year or two, and then it just one day I go on the forum and it just doesn't work, and I'm like, "Oh, you don't have this anymore." Okay. I'm surprised that uh, the Elgin Gamers podcast uh, website is still up with all their episodes. Yeah, it is. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, hmm. I saw. I, I was. I saw that a couple months ago, actually. Mm-hmm. I was just thinking about it, and yeah, this is some sure. some some good times in in the the old the olden days of when YouTube was a little little smaller than it is now. Yeah, just in, a smidge. Uh, in August, it'll be ten years since I joined. Pete's Game Room Forum. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Thank you so, so yeah, that's, much. That's, that's where we all kind of like came to know each other, just in just in terms of a background information. Mm-hmm. This, this is through the forum, and um, and uh, Rusty is kind of the podcast thing that we all did together, the Roundtable Tales of Asperia. That's kind of where we got the idea for the origin of our channel name. So, Tarkaron. Yeah. Nice to have him back in here once more joining us it's a pleasure to be back gentlemen so, yeah, yeah so today we're talking about the gentleman's challenge in case you don't know what that is it's a great challenge like i said created by anzi like years years ago like i think 2012 at the very least if not earlier um and it's basically you get paired up with someone and you each have a list of games you have yet to complete and you each assign each other a game and in the more recent gents challenges, it's been you assign each other two games and you get to pick one. And if you beat it within the deadline, you are declared a gent. If not, you're declared a rascal. If you beat both games, you can be a supreme gent. But that's rare and hard to come by these days. I want to. Yeah. I want to be a supreme gent. I wouldn't mind it. I'll take the title, but I've got to work for it. All right. So, Rusty, I think you should start since the way the partner shaped up, you should kind of talk about <laughs> who you got paired up with what what he chose for you what did you choose for him you know absolutely so i got paired up with mr kingdom hearts boy which i think i recently found out his favorite game of all time is also kingdom hearts one but oh. uh recently yeah. that changed for me i actually um i played through the last of us for the first time and that is now my favorite game of all time it's an we, excellent we, game so you know. yeah we won't get into that but i uh, <laughs> had a whole slew of games listed for uh, the challenge, and he ended up selecting Metal Gear Solid 1 on the PS1 for me, and Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, which I'll be playing on the 3DS. So, Metal Gear Solid is a series that I kind of have a weird relationship with. I know it's, of course, highly regarded by most people, and Hideo Kojima's a mastermind uh, when it comes to developing video games, but uh, I played Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty on the PS2 a couple years back. It was probably when I was actually in college, and I just when you're in college, you're very careful about the games you pick because you only have so much time, especially on breaks or what have you. So couldn't get into Sons of Liberty. Played it for about two to three hours. I played Peace Walker on the PSP for the same, about two to three hours, but it just never really clicked with me, which is weird because I'm actually a huge fan of stealth games. Um, but recently I was talking to a buddy of mine at work who I didn't even know who played video games, but he commented on my Instagram stuff and was saying that he's actually a huge fan of the Metal Gear Solid series, and it's the reason why he kept buying PlayStation consoles 1, 2, and 3, and uh, he just had such high praise for the series that I was like, you know what, I need to go back and you know give this series its fair shot. So I bought the Legacy Collection on PS3, which has Metal Gear 1 and 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, uh, Guns of the Patriots 4, pretty much has the entire series with the exception of um, the PS4 games, of course. And lo and behold, I put that game on the Gents Challenge list as a potential pairing, and Mr. Kingdom Hearts Boy picked it. So really excited to get to play that. Hopefully probably this weekend when Lauren uh, hops on a plane, my wife, to go to Japan for two weeks. I'll have plenty of time to uh, get cracking at this this list of games that I have to play. So, yeah. Right. And I challenged him to play Dark Souls 3, which is a game I actually beat earlier this year. And I just really got into the Souls series probably about a year and a half ago i played through bloodborne dark souls one and then dark souls three and a little bit of dark souls two so hopefully he enjoys that and then i've really been enjoying the more recent wolfenstein games new colossus new order and old blood and i challenged him to play return to castle wolfenstein which i believe was a ps2 game that came out 
um, some time ago. But it's one I'm hoping to go back to at some point. I figured uh, might as well allow him to be my little guinea pig and see if it's worth going back and playing. So, yeah, that's Very those good. games that I picked. So how confident cool. are you? You're gonna you're gonna be a gent by the end of this, right? I honestly think yeah, because I've been I've had terrible history with this this challenge, and <laughs> uh, Metal Gear Solid. It doesn't seem I think I can beat it in 10 to 15 hours. Which honestly, if if I'm pretty diligent this weekend, I could by end of day Sunday I might be able to to polish it off. So uh-huh. it, it's not a terribly long game. I I didn't actually play the original. I played the version that all the fans say is terrible, which is the Twin Snakes. I loved it. I thought it was really great. Um, I know people have a lot of varying reasons as to why it's no good. Some say because because that game has like a, a you have the ability to do like first person. Because I think the I think in Solid Two Sons of I think in Sons of Liberty you, they get, they had that ability. They sort of like transported that onto or grafted that onto the Twin Snakes, and it kind of it can kind of break the game sort of because the game wasn't originally designed to let you do that, um, but whatever <laughs> i don't care i i had a great time with it and um i i'm definitely interested in hearing hearing what you think of it now sure. is twin S- snakes the gamecube remake of the first it was, game it was the gamecube remake yes okay. uh, okay. i think silicon knights did it uh gotcha. worked on it back when they were a young fledgling studio with so much potential and then they Very went good. and did nothing and it was sad yeah. awesome but uh but yeah no i hope i hope you enjoy that for sure I'll be posting my thoughts in the Discord as I make my way through it, for sure. Yeah. Well, if you get through that one quick enough, maybe you can get Mario and Luigi done, become a supreme yeah. gen, and that's the ultimate redemption there. It is. I hope and so. It's, I'm a huge fan of that game. That's. I'm glad he picked that for you. So, that's yeah. cool. It's good stuff. Um, it should be said that, I mean, I, I, I collected statistics before this challenge started, and, I mean, if you want to bet on any of us finishing their challenge, who would be the most likely to, to finish it? You bet on me because I got fifty percent, maybe fifty <laughs> percent success rate. Yeah, so you have modest. a decent track track record. Your last time you did not do so hot though. You, you couldn't <laughs> beat you couldn't beat Kingdom Hearts Kingdom one. Hearts. You couldn't beat Rusty's favorite game, his former favorite game of all time. It's rough. Way to go! Watching those YouTube videos of you for those like two to three minutes were just painful. <laughs> Yeah, it's ru- it, was pretty, it was it was pretty rough. No, the game. I was like, come on, game, man! It's it's a fun <laughs> fun adventure, and he just he just didn't. I con didn't I conquered try. Ursula, and then I d- I didn't go on from there. But that's, be fair. That, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Alec. Well, I was gonna say that's like that's like the first like hurdle of the game. If you can get over that, you can get through the rest of the game, no problem. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I could have. I just really it was all motivation. Like, I don't really have any excuse. It's just. And that's a lot of times what the Genesis Challenge is. It was like, oh, I didn't feel like playing it, so I didn't. And, I mean, I yeah, half of the RNG ones I've got Gent, half of them i got Rascal, because the, there's four total. Um, and then, of course, I did a bunch old PGRF ones, too, like back when we did the Tales of Vesperia, which we were all mm-hmm. all happy Gents back then. Mm. Oh, yeah. And I also I forgot I played Klonoa on that same challenge, so I did two games then. So oh, I'd, wow. I'd like to do two now. But yeah, Alec, you have a 25% success rate. One out of four. Yeah, yeah not doing so hot, yeah. But yeah. I'm, th- I'm thinking this is the motivation we need because like, we're going to have a halfway progress mark and then a final progress. You can't come back and say, eh, I, I didn't play. I didn't play. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you got to have something. Yeah, that's true. And I'm hoping. Well, it's wishful thinking, but I'd like to say I'll finish the first game before the halfway mark and then... Maybe work on the second game after. We'll see. Well, we shall see if you do. Yeah. I mean, and Rusty had a 0% success rate because he's, <laughs> he's only done one of the challenges. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, you just win this one and you're already up to 50% right there. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. So, Alec, how about you t- tell me about who you got partnered up with and uh, what games... <laughs> So, by luck of the draw, I happened to be paired up with you, which I think happened another time recently. I don't remember if it was last it was, time or... If no, it was, it was PGRF times. days. Was it? Okay. Yeah, right? I feel, like I'm yeah. always, I feel like I'm always paired up with you for some reason. I don't know. Um, <laughs> where, so, uh, where, what did we have before? That we were, just like fate. What games did we have before when we were paired up? I don't remember. I don't know. I don't remember. I can't... I don't remember what I did, what I did yesterday. <laughs> anyway. So... Uh, <laughs> So yeah, so I had a ton of stuff 
on my list a lot of RPGs and I even wrote this is self sabotage because it's like I don't have time to play any of these but I, I buy all these RPGs and I just don't play them so um, so you were kind the first game in the two which I mean you can do them really in any order but the first game mm-hmm. of the two you picked Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze um, big fan of the Donkey Kong Country series uh, one of my favorite one of my favorite games from the Super Nintendo is Donkey Kong Country 1. Um, just it really brings back really good memories, childhood. I think we I think we used to borrow that game from a friend of one of my brothers, and um, a lot of fun, a lot of fun to that game. Um, but uh, I've kind of snoozed on the newer ones. I didn't I didn't play Donkey Kong Country Returns. Um, I actually don't even think I own that one. Um, Which you should. I would I would have put that if you had it on there. Yeah, I would have yeah, put that one. But I, but I did pick up Tropical Freeze, and I just I just haven't gotten around to playing it for the Wii U. And uh, I've started playing it, and I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's so <laughs> much fun. I've had so much fun playing this game. Um, the music is amazing. The control is really fun. A little gripe with with the how um, it feels like sometimes when you try to do the the like roll to go faster, it mm-hmm. doesn't respond right away. But I think that's kind of just more. I need to get used to the fact that you can't just you can't just press it and then jump because you'll just do a normal jump. You have to press it and kind of wait for it to activate, and then you can like go faster. So it's a little yeah. bit of it is like me just wanting the game to control a little yeah. differently. Yeah, that's all. Does, that's but... all human error. All human <laughs> error. <laughs> I mean, it might, I mean, I don't know. It probably is. Yeah, but, yeah. I don't um, remember the exact nuance. It's been a while since I played it, but. But but li- but literally anything that's not Sonic and the Secret Rings is better for me at this point. <laughs> so um, I listened to that earlier today. That was fantastic. Yeah, that that game that was, <laughs> that was great. Too bad. Um, but yeah, I've been having a great time with it. I'm already in like World Five of Ooh. Six, so that's I'm good. I'm making a, a lot of steady progress with it. Um, because I'm just I'm having so much fun with it. I might. I might actually spend the time and like go back and try to do uh, completionist stuff with it, mm-hmm. um, which when I fir- when I found out that some of it requires speed run type stuff, um, right. and seeing how slow my time was in the first one, and I thought I was going pretty fast, I was like maybe maybe not, <laughs> maybe I won't do the time trial stuff, but I want to at least get all the puzzle pieces, get all the like figurines and stuff, and and get all the Kong letters in each in each world. So, um, but. Yeah, I the the level design is just incredible. Like, um, I'm always stunned when when developers can just blow, blow my mind in like how they like how they come up with it. It's just like sometimes I, I don't even I can't even figure out how how someone does. Very mm-hmm. creative. Um, so great, cool. Second game that I was challenged was is a game that I've been being told by like four different friends to play and they've been getting on my case for a long time one of one of whom doesn't really like anime style stuff that much uh another one is like a as like a good college friend we watched anime a lot in college um and like back like three years ago or something he even sent me a video he's like oh you picked the game up cool here's a video you should watch to like to like get you in on and i was like yeah awesome sweet and i just never played it uh and that game is persona 5 Probably the barrier to entry being it's it's notoriously the story alone is like eighty to a hundred hours. Um, I I love I've loved everything about the Persona games. I think I was challenged to play Persona Four in an old much older gents challenge, and I failed. I was in I was it was like in April or something, and I was in college, and I was like, this is I can't do this. It's awesome. I loved every second I was playing it, but I was like, that's there's no way. It's mm-hmm. that that game alone is like seventy hours or something. So. Um, so it's it. Um, I do love the the style, the the anime art style, and everything in in that series, and the dedication to sort of traditional mechanics in terms of an RPG, but also adding in like simulation elements. Um, I know we talked, me and Zach talked before. I'm not a huge fan of Sims. Uh, the exception of that is the dating sim or visual novel type stuff. Um, I just I mean, Katawa Shoujo is on my five games, so I mean, clearly I like that type of stuff. So, 
Um, <laughs> so I, yeah, he loves he loves them the Animal Crossings and the Sims and everything. Yeah, I just always have a Sims um, a stack of Sims next to me at all times. <laughs> <laughs> just to just to pull up for reference. Um, so you know, I like that type of thing. You know, whoever best best girl is, I get to I get to pick and choose. So. <laughs> best girl, yeah. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to that finally, uh, because now everyone can stop getting on my case about it. Yeah, I mean, because um, I I had only played a couple hours of it, and just from that alone, yeah. I was like, I want to play more. So I'm like, I'm sure you yeah. would enjoy it because it seems like everything oh. you like. I know so it's like, gonna be like it's gonna be like Xenoblade Chronicles was for me that summer that came out. This my entire summer's gone to that game, mm -hmm. and I'm not, and I don't care. Well, you know, you gotta so you gotta beat it, beat it by July 31st. Well, get that's that. <laughs> most of the summer. You gotta, not, you gotta no, get no, that uh, Supreme Gen. We're all gonna get Supreme I'm Gen titles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> go for it. I'm going for it. So, um, so yeah. If not, you, how about you've you? Run. What did I? <laughs> now, what did I pick for you, Zach? What did you pick for me? For well, you pick this game right here. A little known game. You, you, you might not be able to see it on this, but they can see it on this. That's all that matters. That's that's. that's <laughs> Final Wait, Fantasy seven. seven. Yeah, that's, this that's, is Final Fantasy that's, twelve. No. Wait. <laughs> <What's happening right>? <laughs> 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 Greatest okay. hits edition. Yeah. Yeah. No, no that's, um, that's not the game. It's not the game I finished. It's right here. Final Fantasy. Final <laughs> Fantasy. Is, that is the better game. That is the better game. Hey, hey, have you actually played Final <laughs> Fantasy VII, Rusty? No. I will, I will <laughs> wait wow. you on that. I've actually not played nine. What? Mm, mm. Yeah, I know. It's bad. I had it on my list, though. It was on my list, so. Zach, you if, picked if, the wrong been, game. if you'd been picked with me, if, if you've been paired up with me, you probably would have had me play it. Well, why was why was six afraid of seven? Seven, eight, nine. So <laughs> Final Fantasy seven. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> eight, what, what game's getting nine. a huge remake? It's not Final Fantasy nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, 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 here's, but, See, here's the but, thing, Alec. But nine. nine holds up so well Ooh. that you don't even need the remake. No. Well, that actually, that's a good point because nine, the they they uploaded like in the game files itself for like four K, uh, the the pre rendered backgrounds are like the definition on them is unbelievable, like how good those look. It's so, such a beautiful game. So yeah, it is a beautiful game for sure. Yeah. But all right, here's the yeah. real here's the real game that, that I got. Oh gosh. Um, so, Final so Fantasy like, Seven. You have it blurred on your end on this webcam that that we see. Yeah, I know. I so know. it's just like it's a, we can't even tell what you're holding up. Could you not tell? I, I, I knew I, it was Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grand Theft Auto. Oh, okay. I couldn't. Uh, <laughs> I was, it was um, just like here it is. Oh, yeah, no. I should unblur this even though. Um, yeah. So Final Fantasy VII. I, I mean, I'd heard of this game before. I know it's a pretty uh, <laughs> obscure one. Not many people talk about it. Yeah. But um. It's a little indie indie hit by Square yeah, Enix. Yeah, it's a cult cult classic. I heard yeah. during during their experimental phase. They, uh, yes, they branched out. Yeah, you know, everyone I mean, talks about Einhander, but no, no, this the smaller one is the one that uh, that's the big one. I went and got it on Nintendo Switch, so I can enjoy it both on the console and in handheld. It's a new generation, and I mean I'm really enjoying it. I. I didn't expect to like it as much because I'm thinking, okay, this is a classic. I mean, I remember playing Ocarina of Time years later, and I'm like, I mean, I get it, but it's not that great right now, you know? But I still, it still kind of holds up. I think it's pretty good still, and I like really like the, the whole presentation of the, the narrative and everything. It's pretty unique. Like, I expected like them to just throw you and you just kind of wander around, but it's actually like a guided story and it's I really like the presentation of it. Uh, the music obviously is amazing. I mean, mm. it's, it's it tells you something when I've already heard like most of the music that's playing before I've even played the game. And um, yeah, I, I I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I'll be able to finish it pretty easily because I'm pretty invested already. Um, and it's cool being able to play it handheld too. It works well because especially. It's not like a huge high res game that I have to play on the TV. But yeah. Yeah, it's it's cool. I love that the switch the switch's versatility, man. It's it's a huge selling point for that console. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Um, 
Yeah, so there's some interesting dialogue things, and I definitely didn't expect the beginning to be as like goofy as it was. I was like, oh, it's gonna be super serious, but no, I'm dressing up as a woman. Yeah, doing sh- shenanigans happen. I'm I'm very much anticipating that in the remake. Because <laughs> yeah. they said that it's still in it. They said nice. that a long time ago that that's still in it. So, yeah. Nice. So yeah, I'm pretty pretty confident I'll stick with that game. I mean, we'll stay tuned when, it, when we come back and I've played n- no more of it. <laughs> you better. <laughs> yeah. Get, get, get on your case. But the uh, second game you gave me was Metroid Prime, and as a GameCube fan, a GameCube stand, dare I say. I I feel like I need to play this. I mean, it's one of the biggest, most popular fan favorites, and it's one of the few I haven't played on GameCube. So, mm. I mean, I played like a tiny bit of it way back in the day, but nothing that I remember. Uh, so uh, I'm I'm excited to play that too. I'm trying I'm gonna try for Supreme Gen because I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got drag races on your street. <laughs> I, yeah, I. I th- Supreme Gen is doable for me. I mean, they're both like Final Fantasy VII. What, like, how how many hours would you say that that'll take? It's it's like a it's probably like a thirty five forty hour game for mm-hmm. your first playthrough. Um, if you want to grind out and get like really good stuff that'll make the end of the game a breeze, you're probably looking at more like fifty fifty five maybe sixty. Um, it's kind of worth it, but. It's also tedious, so I remember I remember when I was doing it, grinding for it's known as the Knights of the Round Materia. Mm-hmm. And when I was grinding out doing it, I remember listening to a lot of Algen Gamers podcasts. Um, so it's definitely a good definitely a good uh if you if you don't necessarily wanna listen to the same version of the Chocobo theme over and over again, even though it's really good. <clears throat> uh, yeah. It, it'll go old. He's doing that for like ten hours, so um, um... And Metroid Prime is probably not even a third of that, so it's like it's like ten to fifteen hours, I'd say, so as a first time. It's doable. It's very it's doable. doable. But I very mean, doable. a lot of times in the past, even just regular gen status has been doable, and we just we somehow mess it up anyway. Uh, so this will give us the motivation. Yeah, hopefully we come back for a halfway progress, and we actually have some good progress. Hopefully, some of us have finished games by then, because that would mean we're on track to. It. To be supreme gents, no pressure though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come back probably the end of June or early July for the little progress report, and then right at the very end, the deadline is July thirty first. Harry so. Potter's birthday. No, oh, God Ooh. bless. <laughs> so. Press F. Got Harry's X. So, yeah, we'll we'll see you then, guys, if you want to check in with us. I mean, I'm sure anyone watching this probably is part of the Gents Challenge, too. So, I mean, you guys, hopefully we motivate you with our inspirational Gents Challenge runs to also become Gents. Hit Absolutely. those backlogs. Play those games that you just put down, you bought, and you never played. Look at those Steam libraries, man. Go through it. Anyone can do it. If Alec, can. If Alec can do it, anyone can. Ooh. <laughs> I have way too many games that I haven't played. It's very true. I had like I gave you a list of like 140 to pick up to pick from. Yeah, you did. It was pretty yeah. large. But so wow. you, had, you had like all the selection in the world. And yeah, all right. Thanks. That's it. Toodles. Bye. That should be the Tarkron. The Tarkron salute. Yeah, Tarkron uh-huh. salute. And huh, oh, yeah. All right. Thanks. Bye.